Hello. <clears throat> so I'm trying this out again. Periscope and Facebook Live. Who's here? Hello. Where is everybody? Jump on. It's Friday night. What else are you guys doing? Anyway. Hey, Essentially Balanced. I see you there. Um, I'm trying to get this, like, situated so I can, like, look at both of these at the same time. So I just got a new um, little iPad stand so that I can, yay, Essentially Balanced. You were the first. Thank you for jumping on here. Um, hey, Henry. Hey, Victor. Um, I'm talking to Periscope because nobody's on yet on Facebook. What the H? What is everybody doing tonight? I mean, seriously, you can't have better plans than to be, like, watching live video streams from me. I mean, hello. Anyway. Okay, so I posed a question on Facebook earlier today. And the question was, I'm curious, which I, I am often curious. But the question was, who else has multiple streams of income? And if so, what are they? So, oh, oh, Henry, that's awesome. Hey, Sarah Ann. Um, Henry said he just got off FaceTime with his son because he had to watch me. Oh, that's, that, that makes me feel like you shouldn't have got off from your son to watch me. Hey, Joel. Um, so... I've had a crazy day today. I, this is like my first time to to get on live, and I thought, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna go live on both if I can, if they work today. Because yesterday I tried and they didn't. Um, but one of the things that I was doing today, besides like client calls and um, man, client calls, working on client work prospecting, sending out things that I need to do. Hey, Danelle, thanks for jumping on here. I, um, one of the things that I had to do today was I actually, I do, I do Airbnb. And for those of you that don't know that or know what that is, um, Airbnb is home sharing and it is an additional source of income for me. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. It typically on most months pays my mortgage. So I, I, I just want that to sink in. It pays my mortgage. It pays my mortgage. And on average, I probably spend about I don't know, maybe a, a few hours. Um, I'm going to say I turn over my, my, my basement. So I, if you didn't, if you don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. I'm at Aaron Cell and I just did like a little, I just did a little story about my, my basement and the Airbnb. And, I'm, I'm in a unique situation in the fact that, that my basement is actually like a little apartment. So basically I have, um, it's a separate entrance. I ha it's a, it's blocked off from, from my like living space and they have anybody that stays with me, they have like a little kitchen area, a living room, a bedroom and a bathroom. It's way better than a hotel. I promise you it's way better than a hotel. You do not get that in a hotel. And it you pay a lot less. Yes, my basement pays my mortgage. It pays my mortgage. And I live in Denver. Denver is not cheap. And I live in a pretty um, pricey area of Denver. And it pays my mortgage. So... I mean, it does require a little bit of work on my part. So, for example, today I had somebody check out and I have somebody that's checking in super early tomorrow morning. And so I had to clean today because I'm not going to get up in the morning and clean. So I had to, you know, I have to make sure that they have clean sheets, clean towels, clean bathtub, clean toilet, clean sinks, all that good stuff. So 
on average, as long as I don't have a super messy guest, which I typically don't, and I feel like I'm like super lucky, I have always had really good guests. And I've only, I mean, there's been like a few mishaps, but it's always been like accidents. It's never been like somebody intentionally destroys the place or makes it really dirty. Um, yes, Jackie, you're absolutely right. Um, it is. It's a super smart real estate investment. As long as you're willing to do, you have to be willing to do the work. And no, Christopher, over on um, Facebook Live, I do not run a bed and breakfast. Not by any means. They check in. I say hello. I meet them. We may encounter each other at some point. Um, but no, I typically, I do not make them breakfast. Not by any means. I provide them with a few little snacks and I give them some waters. And, um, other than that, we really don't have a lot of interaction for the most part. It is truly, they check in. It's like a hotel. I help them if they need help, if they need advice for something. But for the most part, it is, they check in, they stay. And then, um, that's typically the end of our like conversation until, until they check out. Um, but it, like I said, it pays my mortgage and for most months it pays my mortgage. And I would say that on an average month, I spend a couple hours cleaning. The longest part of the whole process is just doing laundry, but I have a second, I have separate sheets and, and all that. So like if I, um, if I have somebody that checks in like really, like really quick turnover, then I just put on the new sheets and wash the other sheets as I can and it works. I have been doing this for about two and a half years now. And I'm going to say that I, I know that like where I'm at, I have the perfect setup compared to other people. Um, I know other people that do Airbnb and they, they do like where they rent a room, which I think is a little bit more of an inconvenience to you as like, I mean, then you're like putting, you're welcoming somebody into your home, which I think is great. Um, and yes, Jackie, I absolutely, I have repeat guests all the time and on average, my guests stay, it's hard to put an average on it because I, I have a minimum of three nights only because I don't want to have to be cleaning and doing this all the time. So it's any like minimum three nights. And then I have some people that stay up to even like a month. Um, I've had other people stay even longer than that. I normally, um, I would say average is about a week. And my, ch my charges vary. It, it depends on season. It, de like, in the summer, I can get a lot higher price. In the winter, I, it's, it's a little bit lower. Um, the lowest I typically go is about 50 bucks a night, but I can get up anywhere to like $90 a night. Um, <laughs> hey, Nancy, nice hands. I'm happy to see you here. Um, I would say there are no downsides to Airbnb, but like I said, I've been super, super lucky with um, my guests, and I think part of it is that I live here, so like they can't come here and have a party without me knowing. Like I live here, I live upstairs, so they they don't really have an an, an option here because I'm here. And if I'm not here, I typically have somebody stay with me. And Christopher, I don't advertise. The only place I advertise is on the Airbnb website. So I really don't have to do a whole lot. I mean, Airbnb really does it for you. I, I highly recommend it. Actually, I'm going to pull up. Um, if somebody could type this in the comments. Uh, my computer is, is of course, locked, but I wanted to give you guys my link. So if anybody is interested in Airbnb and being a host, um, I'll give you my link. So I did a, a bit.ly link. So it's bit.ly forward slash air, A-I-R-B-N, 
and then Nicole, B, and then it's E cell. E C E L L. So if you're interested in, in becoming a host, um, it's bit.ly forward slash Airbnb E cell. And basically, like I said, I mean, I'm making upwards of, I would say that on average, I make anywhere from $1,100 to $1,500, $1,600 a month. And I probably put in, in cleaning and like turnover and all that stuff, I probably put in about two to three hours a month of my time. So... I mean, think about that ROI. How many, how much am I making per hour by doing Airbnb? And it's so easy. It's so easy. And I mean, I guess I spend a little bit of time like with the communication back and forth with the guests, but for the most part, it is like the easiest way to make money. So if you have extra space in your house and you're willing to open your house to somebody, then I have absolutely 100% hands down recommend Airbnb. So the question that I put on Facebook today was, what other streams of income do you have and how are you using them? And so some of the responses that I got are, yes, rental business. Um, other people are like affiliate income, which I actually, I do affiliate stuff as well. In fact, I got an email today that I somebody signed up from a tweet that I sent out. And how is easy is it to send out a tweet linking to something that you believe in. And for me, like I would never ever in a million years be an affiliate to somebody that I don't believe in 100%. And and typically it's something that I've already I've gone through that process. I've done that. Um so the the affiliate one of my main affiliates that I support and promote is Social Media Manager School and that's with Andrea Vall and Phyllis Care. And I should put that link up too, uh, because they are, so if you're interested in becoming a social media manager, hold on, I'm going to find that link since, since we're talking about it, I may as well share it. Um, so hold on, I'm looking here. Uh, of course I can't find it while I'm trying to be live. Um, okay, well, I'm going to give you another one. So if anybody's interested in attending Social Media Marketing World, which if you are interested in being a social media manager or have really any interest in learning about social media, um, Social Media Marketing World is absolutely 100% one of my like, I don't know. So I went last year for my first time and I'm going again uh, in April in like two weeks. And I don't know that I'll ever miss this event again because I feel like it's the event of the year. You get to hang out with the most amazing people. You get the best training. There's no like promotional stuff that goes along with it. Um, so my affiliate link for that is it's bit.ly L-Y forward slash S-M-M-W 16 S-P. So if somebody could put that in, that would be great. And then I'm trying to find my social media manager school because if you are interested in doing what I do, which I, if you don't know who I am, if you're just, if like, a, if this is the first time you've seen me, would you type a one in the comments? Um, I'm always curious to see if people have jumped onto my scope before. So I'd love to see if it's your first time that you've seen me, um, and also, I'd love to see where everybody's coming in from. So I'm I'm looking here to find my. Hey, Bob! Thanks. I'm I'm happy to see you on here. Where are you calling in from? PA. Awesome. Um. So I'm trying to find my. I know I have a social media manager school link. Anybody else? First time seeing me or. Do you know me, Nancy? You are, you're funny. It's so not your first time seeing me. <laughs> Nancy and I hung out the other week. Um, okay. Oh, no, that's old. That's an old link. Oh, I can't find it. And I don't want to, like, 
be looking for that. So I'm not going to worry about that. But if you want that link, I actually, if you go follow me on Twitter, if you don't already follow me on Twitter, um, go follow me on Twitter and I have links to that. So if you're interested in Social Media Manager School, which is awesome and amazing, it opens two times a year and you learn from the very best and you get the absolute best support. Hey Henry, I know it's not your first time and yes, welcome from Maryland. Um, so what, what I'm saying is that affiliate links are a great way to make income that you don't necessarily have to work very hard for. So typically most affiliates will give you like They'll give you tweets to send out. They'll give you posts to send out. They'll give you stuff to put in your blog. All you have to do is go like create your own code so that, so you can use Bitly. I use Bitly. Um, that's B I T L Y. And, um, yes, Joel, I'm, I'm aware that Joel is very good at the affiliate marketing. Um, but, so you really, you really just want to make sure that, you know, you're putting their stuff out there and, and put a little bit of you into it. So I have learned so much from Andrea Ball and Phyllis Care and I support them 100%. Um, one of, and this is, this is something that really, really like speaks true to my heart. I have, I have been a part of other schools and, trainings and that sort of thing. And one of the things that I really love, love, love about what Phyllis and Andrea do is the fact that they give you lifetime access. So you pay one time and you get lifetime access to all their updates. You get lifetime access to their Facebook group and their Facebook group is like above and beyond. Any question that you have, you get responses from them directly and you also get responses from all the other people in the group. So you get so much information and like, it doesn't matter if you're a beginner or if you're like super advanced. They, I'm like, everybody jumps in there and offers their advice and you get like people all over the world, all kinds of experiences. It's, it's absolutely amazing. So I highly recommend that. So if you want that information, I'm going to say go check me out on, on Twitter because that's typically where I post the majority of those, um, links and those like, you know, so you can get connected to the social media manager school. Um, so other things I want to talk just a little bit more about other ways um, to make passive income or to make income outside of like your day job. So there's all kinds of, of things. And these are some of the, the responses that I got today. So I just wanted to share a few of them with you guys. Um, so there's a lot of people that work multiple jobs, which is cool. But you know what? Honestly, I don't want to work another job. Like, I own my own business and I work way too many hours as is. So I want to do things that are fairly non like time consuming. I want to be able to like put a tweet out and say, Hey, this thing's awesome. And Hey, Brianna, <laughs> thanks for, uh, for, thanks for the, the comment there. I wanted it. She wanted me to shout her out. So I'm saying, Hey, Brianna. Um, so basically I like to do things that don't cause me a lot of additional time and energy. The Airbnb cost me a little bit of time and energy because I, I either have to clean it myself and like turn it over or I have to pay somebody else to do it. It really just depends on how things work out for me that day, that time. Um, but other things like I, I have been seeing responses that, you know, people say like, I have three jobs. I don't want to work more jobs. I want to do things easier. I want more income coming into me passively, right? Don't we all? So this is why like I do the Airbnb. I get paid to just have somebody sleep in my basement. That's pretty, pretty passive. All I have to do is spend like 30, 45 minutes cleaning it between guests and then I get more money and it happens. I'm pretty much booked all the time. 
it's, it's a rare occasion if I don't have somebody staying downstairs. Um, the other thing that you can do is like MLMs, but again, that's, that's a little bit of extra energy. Like, you may work a full-time job and then have this MLM on the side. And for those of you that don't know, an MLM is a multi-level marketing. So it could be anything from like, for example, my friend does unique. I used to do um, Pampered Chef. I've done Pink Papaya, which is makeup. Um, I've, I've actually kind of been an MLM junkie in the past. Um, so I feel like MLMs. They require a bit of work. You have to schedule parties. You have to you have to go present in a lot of cases. You have to go do a show at somebody's house. You have to drag your stuff. Hey, Brianna, I'm Erin. I'm with Socially Powered. Um, I actually, I'm talking about something that is completely off subject for me tonight, but I am a social media manager. I have my own business. Um, but I just, I really had the question because part of like, I, yes, I have my own business and that's part of my like income. But what I really wanted to talk about tonight was other ways to bring in income that are somewhat passive. And that's why I put the, put the question out there. So, um, those are some of the ways that, that I do it. Um, through Airbnb, I, I no longer do any MLMs. I, um, I typically, so I do the Airbnb, I have my own business, I have affiliate marketing that I do, and then I have a couple other sources of income, but one of the other things I really wanted to talk about was um, partnering with people. So one of the things that you can do is partner with other people to promote your products, your services, your webinars, your whatever it is that you have going on. So that that's somewhat passive income for you. So... To recap, I'm going to go ahead and sign off of here. I normally don't go this long. It's been 20 minutes, over 20 minutes. I typically don't do that. Um, it's okay. Um, so basically, just to recap, I just, I really wanted to know what other people are doing for income outside of like their regular job. Um, so we talked about Airbnb. So if you if you want to sign up for Airbnb at Airbnb and you're not already, I my affiliate link, so I'm not I'm not I'm being completely transparent here. I get a little bit of money. I think you get a little bit of money or credit or whatever. Um so it's it's bit b i t dot l y forward slash Airbnb e cell if you decided that you wanted to sign up for Airbnb and be a host. Um I think um I think it, it may even count if you decided to be a guest. So that's the other side of things is that if you don't know that about Airbnb, it's an awesome way to stay in cool places in towns and not stay at a, at a hotel. Uh, you can like actually stay in like parts of a, a city and it's especially amazing. I mean, I feel like it's awesome here in Denver because I have my, my own Airbnb, but it's also awesome, especially if you're traveling overseas, you get to stay in cool, in cool places. Um, so that's basically all I wanted to talk about tonight was just um, alternate sources of income. So Airbnb is one. That's one for me personally. Um, affiliate marketing, you know, supporting people that you um, are a part of and that are part of your tribe and you feel like are doing a really good job and that other people might benefit from. That's another one. Um MLMs, multi-level marketing. So that's like the Pampered Chefs. That's pink, uh, pink Papaya, which um, I used to do. I don't. I don't do either of those anymore. That's unique. That friends of mine do. Um, I'm trying to think of other MLMs, and I'm drawing a blank right now. But um, so that's that's another opportunity, though. I feel like that's a little bit more work. And then I'm curious to hear what everybody else does. So if you want to write me back or respond on this. Um, Oh, Allie, that's perfect. I totally meant to mention that. Uber and Lyft. So those are, those are awesome, great additional sources of income that you can do. You can drive for Uber or Lyft. Um, if you don't know what those are, you may be in a smaller town. Um, but like I'm here in Denver and we have Uber and Lyft all over the city and they're great because they come pick you up from wherever you are 
and they take you wherever you want to go and you pay a fraction of what you would pay for a taxi and you get so much better service. So much better service. I can't tell you how many, and I'm going to, I don't normally cuss on screen, which is crazy, but I'm going to say shitty service in a taxi because I've been in many taxis that I am just like appalled by to the point that like I have to, like I want to call and report them. They're so bad. So Uber and Lyft are awesome. You get a nice car, a nice person. Typically they give you like water and drinks and snacks and like they're, they'll play the music that you want to hear. And I have had nothing but enjoyable experiences on in, in both Uber and Lyft. So I highly recommend those. Um, and they're great sources of income. I know lots of people that, that do that part time and they make tons of money. So that's another great, um, source of additional income. So I'm going to go ahead and call it quits for tonight. I have been working entirely too long today, but I really wanted to put this message out there. So I hope that, I hope it's been good and informative for everybody. And I will talk to you guys later. I hope you have an awesome, amazing weekend and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.